This video showcases the key features of Armor Block 5000 IO, 16 point configurable blocks, and demonstrates the configuration workflows. First, let's explore the available power variants and learn how to change the module power variant from within your Studio 5000 Logics Designer application. Armor Block 5000 IO portfolio offers three different power variants Mini 4 pin, L coded, and Mini 5 pin. To change between the power variants, access the add-on profile for the 16-point configurable I.O. block within the Studio 5000 Logics Designer application while offline. Select the device definition within the add-on profile, then click the Change Type button from the Device Definition Configuration window. The current module's power variant is a Mini 4 pin type. We have the option to change to the L-coded or Mini 5 pin power variant. For now, we will not proceed with changing the power variant. Next, we will explore module configuration options. On the overview tab, we can change the timing stamping method to be per point, first in first out, or FIFO for short to capture sequence of events, or none to disable time stamping. For now, we will leave it at the default mode of per point. Observe the connection options. The module is capable of standard data, event capture, schedule output control, and listen only. Ethernet connection status can also be monitored. In this example, we will select data with events. Next, we will explore the point assignments tab. For this example, we have an inductive sensor used as a counter for channel zero, a proximity sensor used as a digital input on channel two, and a jumper between channels four and five, which will be used to measure module performance. Let's set the channels on the Point Assignments tab to match the physical setup we're using. Do so by setting point zero zero as a digital input counter. Leave point zero two as a digital input. Set point zero four as a digital output with short circuit protection. Finally, set point zero five as a digital input with timestamp functionality. Click OK and then select Yes to apply the changes. Now that the module is configured, let's observe how the configuration impacts the controller tags. The tag structure reflects the selected individual channel configuration. We can see that channel 0 has counter information. Channel 2 has standard input information. Channel 5 has input information including timestamp tracking. Finally, channel 4 is an output, so it provides readback data. Similarly for output tags, we see the ability to write to output 4 and issue reset or acknowledge commands to applicable channels. Now that we understand how the tags are configured, let's explore the logic in this demonstration. First, we can trigger an event task based on Armor Block 5000 input or event input state changes. Back on the module add on profile, we can observe the module event trigger configuration. Note that this view is read only because module events are configured via controller tags. Within the event task, let's review the routine that we've created to trigger an output for high speed applications. In rung 0, we have the counter done bit as a gate for turning on the output when the event task is triggered. The immediate output instruction known as IoT in rung 1 is used to expedite the update of the output data. Now let's view the standard task logic for this example. That helps us see the module speed capabilities. Rung 1 is used to measure the time it takes for the module to receive an input and trigger an output. This is commonly referred to as screw-to-screw -screw performance. In this optimal environment, we can see a resulting value, which is consistently less than one millisecond. To recap, this video provides an overview of the configuration and performance capabilities of Armor Block 5000 IO, 16-point configurable blocks.